Hi, I'm Rick Conlow. Good to see you. One positive thought will literally change your life forever. I don't know about you, have you ever had a negative thought? I mean, that's kind of a dumb question. Here are some key negative thoughts that all of us get caught up in one time or another. I can't do it. I'm a failure. I'm not qualified. I don't know. Nobody likes me. I don't have time. The world is a bad place. And here's one a friend of mine used to throw around a lot. And he said this, everyone else gets more than I deserve. Now, can you imagine how life turns out if this is what our thinking is filled with? Because remember, thought always precedes action. Now, I don't want us to get caught up in the negative. But what about the positive? Here's a few positive quotes from one of my posts on 22 success quotes that will inspire and motivate you. Albert Einstein said, Try not to be a person of success, but rather be a person of value. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. And Rockefeller said this, Don't be afraid to give up the good, to go for the great. And John Wooden said, Things work out for the best for those who make the best of how things work out. And Maya Angelou said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. You see the difference? You can just feel the difference in the energy, um, the uh, passion that comes in when you compare the negative thoughts that I read and the positive ones that I just read here a moment ago. Now, understand this. Research at Merrill Clinic studied the difference between optimism and pessimism, positive and negative. And they did it over a 20 plus year period of time, gave people a, uh, an assessment to look at how they think and watch what happened in their lives. And to make a long story short, here's what they found, is that people who are optimistic lived 13 and a half years longer than the pessimist. In addition, they were happier, they were healthier, and they made more money. Isn't that what you want? Now, how do you get that one positive thought then? Well, here's four ways to be a star. Because we have to work at this. You can't leave it the chance. Chance favors the prepared mind. So, star, set goals and review them. What we do when we set goals is that we focus. We think how we want things to be, not how we don't want things to be. Got to write them down and then review them regularly because what you do is reinforce it. Now, you may not always make progress. We're not profits, but we can adjust our goals as time goes on. So goal setting and review is a way to goal achievement and it's a way to reinforce the positive. And then, of course, training, education, and learning because they're putting new things in the mind. It's powerful. Too many people stop learning when they get out of high school. And maybe the last couple of years of high school, they didn't learn that much. In fact, one study said only 3% of people read one book a year. At least. Wow, think about that. So if we can keep learning. In fact, that's what I did early in my career. My business partner, Doug Watts, about did it too. We attended over 100 different training programs to develop our skills and abilities and our thinking as we started our business over 25 years ago. And then activate mental rehearsal and affirmations. Tony Robbins speaks about this often. Mental rehearsal is visualizing how we want things to be. The pictures, the feelings, the detail, like a movie. And then affirmations are the words we say. There's power in our tongue. What we say comes from what we think. And just look at how you're talking, and that relates to how you're thinking. So affirmations is we deliberately say the positive. We make some statements and we do them. you got to take some time to do this. I used to call it belief power time. Now I just call it alone time. doesn't matter which what you call it. Take the time. Now you say, I'm too busy. That's a negative thought. What I used to do, my wife and I had six kids, and what we did, I did, is I, as I drove to work every day, I'd have a 30 to 40 minute drive. I would use that for mental rehearsal and affirmations. It helped get me focused on the day. It helped me think about where I'm headed. And it reinforced my approach and my attitude each and every day. We can do that. we got to take the time. You are worth it, aren't you? And then last, respond to circumstances instead of reacting. A lot of people, some, some, something happens to them, and then they want to jump right back at it, just like that. See, that's what reaction is. Response is we think first. 
we got to think about what we're thinking. That's where the th positive is, as opposed to the negative. And choose, see, choose a more positive approach. So if something says someone mean to you, don't just automatically say something mean back. Choose, you know, your words carefully. Think about it first. A lot of times it calms us down and we take a more rational approach. That's powerful because it affects our habits. All of these affects our habits. And our habits rule in our life because they come from our thinking that we've acted on time and time and time again. Now, here's a positive thought worth hanging on to forever. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. See, Human progress is all about those who think positively, think grander thoughts, think about possibilities, not the problems, think about the yeses, not the noes, think about opportunities, not the obstacles. That's what we're doing here when we choose that thinking. That's where we're going. One positive thought and then corresponding action because thought leads to action and any given day can change your life forever. Hey, I have this dream that soars on silver wings. I visualize your achievements and your legacy that sings. I do not know all about your persistent efforts to raise the bar. I only know you can be the best, if not a superstar. Thanks for coming today.